Hey there, what's going on everybody? My name, of course, is Dr. P, and welcome back today for another one. We're going to be going over a couple secret map changes as well as a huge update on the third dig site. It has finally gotten to something. Donald Mustard has something to say. Literally just so much to cover today, so make sure you stick around, drop a like, and if you like what you see, consider subscribing. Huge shout out to all of you legends out there using my code, and especially the guys on screen. It's Pineapples YT, and if you're ever buying anything in the Fortnite item shop, throw my code on there, send me a picture on Twitter, and I'll get you featured in a video soon. I want to start off by updating you on the position of Harry the Helicopter. Here he is, currently sitting on a hill northwest of Loot Lake. This is the third time that he has been looking at Loot Lake, at least the third time in a row. As you can see from the map right here, courtesy of Seawad, the current position of the helicopter is the 14th place it's been. And as you can see, it's really strange because it started out going on the edge of the map and working the sides. But then once it got to Pleasant, it decided to just kind of go off course and wrap all the way around Loot Lake. Keep the positioning of the helicopter in mind as we get further into the video. Something else I definitely want to let you guys know about is the current positioning of the rock golems. You guys probably know what I'm talking about. Over the the course of season 8 these two statues one male one female have been moving closer to each other trying to be reunited but they have a problem there's a giant gap in between them and they can't get to each other their movement this time wasn't anything too significant they didn't move very far but they did move closer to the edge and it looks now like they have finally realized what's going on we're separated by this giant crack if we want to be reunited we're gonna have to find another way around there's been a lot of talk as to what the golems might actually mean and signal for this season they've been around and they've been doing similar things since season seven so it's really interesting to see the development of these two if they ever do wind up together in one place i'll be curious to see what happens or what that might signal about two days ago, the excavation site at Loot Lake started to happen. It started to dig at Loot Lake just like we all expected in the exact same spot we predicted. Their digging actually concluded not too long ago and it's got something pretty interesting inside of it. It looks like there is a giant metal passageway underneath this dig site and I mean look how deep this specific excavation site is in comparison to the other two. We know one's near Paradise Palm and one is actually at Dusty Divot where the magma was found. This is for sure the deepest excavation site yet and it's by far the most interesting. You've got this bunker here, that's what people are calling it. We got another one of those bunkers in the game, right? Just something else to worry about. Even though we've been dealing with that bunker in Whaling, or at least what used to be Whaling, for many, many seasons. But now, we have another. Go figure. In the short time since this bunker has been revealed, Reddit and social media has gone ablaze with all kinds of theories, saying there could be something underneath Loot Lake, because clearly, this isn't just them stumbling upon something random. There is a metal passageway deep under the earth here, and I think they may have been on the right track to finding whatever they're looking for. Something that was really strange, but also weirdly cool at the same time about this dig site is once the digging was progressing, at one point there was a giant rock that had so, so much health, like literally just in the millions of the health, and people from around the maps between all the servers could actually, you know, contribute at the same time to breaking this and finding out what was underneath. I wasn't at home when this started to happen, so I wasn't able to contribute or get any gameplay of that happening, but apparently it took a pretty long time, even with so many people enlisting their services, to try and break this and find out what was underneath. That alone should signal how important this metal barrier might be, the fact that they added all these rocks on top of it that had to be destroyed by players. I don't know, just some food for thought there. Anyway, back to the theories of what could be underneath Loot Lake. I've seen a number of people claim something about Kevin could be happening for a number of reasons. Number one, the helicopter, Harry, has been constantly looking at Loot Lake the past three or four times, and probably even more so over the course of his entire existence. And we all know what's in the middle of Loot Lake, the shards, the remains of Kevin the Cube, left over from when he exploded in the butterfly event. Also, back when Loot Lake was more of an actual lake, Kevin completely liquefied himself and drained all of his juices into Loot Lake. We don't know where that went, it could still be under Loot Lake in some way. 
and this bunker could in some way be related. I think it's really interesting if you look at the timing of what the helicopter has been doing recently by making this loop and excessive wraparound around Loot Lake, and at the same time, the dig site forms, and then around the same time, there is a huge discovery made underneath Loot Lake by this construction crew. I wonder if it's possible once the crew started at Loot Lake, the reason the helicopter continued to loop around that area is because they knew they had a good chance of finding something right there, and they needed the helicopter's further assistance. It's crazy how just, like, two or three weeks ago, I saw so many people in my comments and everywhere else I looked saying, the season 8 story is slow, like not a lot's happened since the start of the season. I thought the season started off with a huge bang because of obviously the pirates, the volcano, the new areas. But since then it's died down, fair enough. But recently it's been starting to heat up again with the teaser and then official confirmation of Ruin being the Discovery skin. These dig sites, the helicopter, everything's adding up at the perfect time. And this is when Fortnite gets exciting, guys. It looks like there are going to be even further dig sites from this one. There's going to be at least a fourth dig site. The location has been found. This is courtesy of Lucas7Yoshi. It's hilarious because you might expect it to end up being here, but poor building in Tilted, man. Like, what is going on? It just got rebuilt and it was just turned into an insurance agency. How ironic is that? Now it's the next dig site location. This building cannot catch a break. It's been rebuilt like three or four times and something just always rails it for no reason. It's been like literally four, maybe five seasons in a row something has happened to this building. Press have to pay respects to our beloved building. So at this point we know in the game currently there are three dig sites. The third one and the second one making very important discoveries. The second one, of course, in the Dusty Divot, discovered a bunch of magma there. The third one discovered this bunker. If we keep up at that pace, then just about every single one of these dig sites should have something big to share. We're not 100% sure still why these dig sites have been forming around the map. We think we kind of know. My best guess is the helicopter was sent here because they heard there was some treasure on the map. The helicopter went around the map scouting out different places and then relaying information back to wherever it came from to send people to come dig. We think this is the same people as season four associated with the government. The reason they're digging is to try and find the treasure and that theory is backed up a little bit when you take a look at Donald Mustard's current Twitter profile and the reason we're looking at it of course is he constantly is changing his location to tease what's going on in the game and he just changed it to digging trying to find the dot 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 this is a lot bigger than you might think first of all just the fact that he is acknowledging that they're digging and then trying to find something means, of course, this is all calculated, it was all intentional, and they're here on purpose, not by mistake, trying to intentionally find something in the ground. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I don't know if I would send a bunch of helicopters and resources to a random island to dig for something if it wasn't, like, really worth it, if the upside wasn't extremely high. Plus, when you look at the whole motto of this season, X marks the spot, and the pirates, and all that, it just makes sense that they're here to try and intercept the treasure before anyone here can actually get it. This treasure must be very, very big. Like, I'm gonna be excited to find out what it actually is because it's been having a lot of people run all over the map, digging and just searching the whole season. Something I just recently noticed and wanna share with you guys before this video is over is the ruined teaser that we got a couple days ago. As you can see, it looks like he's got flames around him coming from the ground. At first, I thought it was the volcano, but upon further inspection, it might not be. Look at the very top above his head in this photo. You can see it looks like he is underground or at least in some kind of a ditch or a hole. What if he's standing in one of these excavation sites? What if Ruin is actually the one living in the bunker underground and in week eight, he just kind of slides out of the bunker? Think about it, all of the major skins that have come from unlocking the weekly challenges have been in the game for the whole season, just not available. For example, last season the prisoner was inside the dungeon the whole time. The visitor was in the meteorite the whole time. Just something to think about, it's definitely not confirmed, but I think it's possible based on how things have gone down in the past. Make sure to drop your comments and your thoughts down below, I'd really appreciate hearing what you guys have to say. I'll catch you with another video very soon, and until then my friends, take it easy, and peace out.